Welcome back. Earlier this morning on News Channel 3 Live at 6, we showed you how we worked with Battle Creek Police to solicit online prostitutes we found on Backpage.com and then arrest them. Our hidden cameras caught a number of illegal sex for money crimes in progress. But even police were surprised by what, th by what they found when a woman showed up and fell hook, line, and sinker for the police decoy. This morning, part two of our I-Team investigation, High Tech Hookers. And right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. We've got a couple of good arrests today. I think things went down uh, pretty well. Through the hard work of police and prosecutors and a network of cleverly hidden cameras, a cheap motel room in Battle Creek became the scene of several crimes one recent weekday afternoon. My name's Matt. Uh, I got your number online. I didn't know if uh, you, you can meet up today for a date or not. Together with undercover cops, we conducted an online prostitution sting. A police decoy made the calls. I didn't know if uh, you are available to meet up today. Selling himself on the phone as a visiting construction worker to women selling themselves on Backpage.com. I didn't know if you could meet up with me today sometime. Earlier that day, police made one arrest. All right, she's walking towards the room right now, white female, red shirt, black jacket, loose and tight heels. She'll be at your door in about two seconds. A woman showed up. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Told our police decoy that almost anything goes for 200 bucks an hour. Your picture, I'm pretty sure, was on there. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, was it backpage.com? Yeah. yeah. Because police and a prosecutor were watching and listening from an adjacent room, the woman was quickly arrested with no idea she was ever on camera. You have nothing on me. Like, seriously, you cannot arrest me. You have nothing on me. You have no proof that I did anything. But they had to get her out of there fast because another suspected prostitute was on the way. Another knock on the door means we're in business. Our suspect is dropped off and walks unsuspectingly into our takedown room alone, being recorded from all angles. Now you uh, said $200. Mm -hmm. Is there anything off limits or you're just a little bit better looking than what I expected, so oh, I kind of. Really? <laughs> Um, is 250 good? Because I can't go much more than that. The police decoy knows the code phrase for the other officers to storm the room is, I ordered pizza, which would explain the knock on the door the suspected prostitute is about to hear. I uh, ordered some pizza too afterwards, I guess. If, I mean, I got about 45 minutes before I got to get back to work. Just as police were barging through the door to make that second arrest, everything changed, and the woman they were busting wasn't the only one caught by surprise. Heather, how you doing? Stand up, turn around, and come in, turn your back, turn around. The suspect turned out to be Heather Arredondo, a woman we interviewed on News Channel 3 in March when her kids turned up missing. She was actually a mother of some children um, that were in West Virginia not too long ago. She had reported them missing. I just know they want me. I know how my daughter is. I know how my son is. I just, they need to be home. This is ridiculous. Several weeks later, we meet again, but nowhere near the same uh, pretenses. Were you surprised to see her here? Yes, actually, I, I, I was. I mean, we all felt sorry for her initially. Uh, yeah, and even now. I mean, what, what drives a person to, to, to go into this type of business? After the fact, Arredondo told us she'd never done this before and was desperate for money, something Detective Sergeant Jim Martins has heard before. You see these women, they'll do this too because they're hooked on drugs, and it's the only way they can get money, so they're kind of forced into the profession. But the police are forced to fight it, and they now know they'll need to stay out in front of websites like Backpage.com. It's not going to go away. And uh, as technology changes, I'm sure the way that they advertise will change with it. Hi, Nikki. Back page is known to the Battle Creek Police Department. We monitor it. And they might want to be careful because I don't know when we're going to do this again. 
And we have reached out to Backpage.com for comment and haven't heard back. The website made almost $30 million in adult services ads alone in the last year and has no plans to take them down. In response to the allegations that Backpage.com promotes prostitution and human trafficking, the website's general counsel says that shutting down the ads would simply drive it underground, making it more difficult for police to monitor. For more on this story and to see the video again, visit our website at www.mt.com.